Hi, welcome back to PMOD Monthly, our video series where we talk about cool PMOD projects. Uh, we also offer a discount code at the end of the video for the PMODs used, so make sure to stay tuned for that. This month, we are showcasing the uh, Zebo PMOD pack, um, as well as the really easy to use demo material that we've created around it using Petalinux. The Zebo PMOD pack is designed specifically to complement the features of your Zebo board and consists of the PMOD OLED display, the PMOD BT2 Bluetooth module, the PMOD RTCC real-time clock and calendar, PMOD TMP3 ambient temperature sensor, and the PMOD ALS ambient light sensor. With the addition of this PMOD pack, your Zebo now has a display wireless communication capability, the ability to interact with the physical world through the light sensor and the temperature sensor, as well as the added benefit of being able to keep time through power cycles, provided you don't remove the battery from the RTCC. Although the Zebo PMOD pack is less about a single application and more about enhancing the features of your Zebo, we've created a demo that prints values from the sensors um, as well as the time and date, both to the OLED display as well as to a terminal via uh, the Bluetooth module. Nate is the creator of this demo and he's going to walk us through how he did it. Hi guys, I'm Nate and before I go over the tools that we use to develop this demo, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of how it works in action. So, I'm going to go over to our terminal, type in the name of the program that we're going to be running, OLED test, and then our second program in the terminal screen. Boom. And there you go. Here you see your PMOD ALS readings, PMOD TMP3, RTCC with the time and date, and it's also running on this at the same time. Basically with the hardware components taken care of with the PMODs, we have a few software considerations that we need to address. Um, one is getting the operating system running, uh, creating our program, our C, C++ application, and uh, configuring the FPGA fabric. To do this, we'll use Vivado to program the FPGA. The Xilinx SDK will be used to write our C application, and Petalinux will be used to wrap it all together. So Vivado is the tool that we're going to be using in this, uh, in this demo to configure our FPGA fabric. Uh, just open up the block design that has been created for you in the demo project. And you can take a look at it here in the pop-out. There's a block for the processing system, the Zinc chip, containing an ARM microcontroller as well as the FPGA fabric various blocks for the AXI interconnect, XADC, and over here you can see we've got some blocks for GPIO, PMOD bridge. So without using any HDL we've actually fully described the hardware that'll be implemented on the FPGA in order to have the microprocessor and PMODs communicate with each other. Once you've gotten your project open and you're done looking it over Go and generate your bitstream. Once that's completed, go up to File, Export, Export Hardware. From there, pick a directory that you're going to want SDK to look for this hardware description. Go back up to File and then launch SDK and point it at that specific directory. Now that we've got SDK open, you can just take a quick look at the layout here. You've got your, you've got your overlying application folders on the left, and the main C programs over here in the middle window. Through here, you can debug either locally or deploy onto your target and debug that way. So once you've gotten the Vivado and SDK portions taken care of, now you can bring all these into Petalinux and wrap them up into your Linux image. 
To do this, you're going to want to open a terminal and change directory to your Petalinux working directory. Once you're within your Petalinux project directory, just go ahead and make sure that everything's configured correctly, and then hit Petalinux build. So to run the demo, all you have to do is enter the name of one of your demo programs, space, ampersand, and then the name of your second demo program, which will be running in the terminal. Uh, control. Once you have those two on the command line, hit enter, and they should start simul simultaneous threads. And there you go. The promo code for this month is PMOD Monthly August 16. Simply enter that in at checkout to get the Zebo PMOD pack for just $50. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to stay up to date with Digilens products and services. Remember to check the description below the video for links to uh, support material for the Zebo PMOD pack. And we'll see you next time.